the hard-fought first phase in this tournament. None of Argentina, Europe. And a first World Cup final appearance in nearly 40 years. That's the resume for Peru's coach, the Argentine Ricardo Goreca, widely admired, and he has got the very most out of his group of players, although one of his trusty veterans, Carlos Zambrano, does drop out of Peru's back four tonight. Miguel Araujo starts instead. That brings the age profile down somewhat, but two others sum up the spirit a long, long way in this tournament, as they have done in the last two. Dani Alves, goalkeeper, was coming. One important member of this Peru outfit is Norberto Solano. He's the... Uh... And listen, had to wait and watch and hope, and he just about judged it right. And he got turned on it. Peru attacking in numbers. Near post, and it's headed wide. First time. Well, Thiago Silva and Casemiro were in there, and it may be Casemiro who got the final touch, and Brazil do lead. And a set piece opens the way. They found it so hard in open play, but would testify. Anyway, everybody united behind the team. Brit, Dani Alves swings it in there. And again, Peru looked less than assured, I must say. Casemiro again. He's made a horrible mess, he's got away with it first time, but he may yet be punished. He's going to be punished. It's the easiest goal Roberto Firmino will ever score. And Brazil have it where they want it now. Peru have imploded here. They cannot believe their luck. Galez is... Cuevas taken out. Over the wall, releases Everton, and Brazil are beginning to flow. Everton shrugged off it, Galezi gets down, and maybe gets a bit of good fortune for a change. And again, Nicola backed up again, and he hits it, and he screams into the corner. What a moment for Everton. Brazil leads 3 0. And the young, popular hero strikes. The clamour has been for Everton, and he repays Brazil. Space opened up, and Gabriel Jesus had a more than presentable sighting of the target then. Tino from the other side. Have no answers in the... Fan. <laughs> Clever little piece of work by Felipe Luis. Spell on the right side. Oh, it's a great supporting run by Dani Alves. Peru trails 3 0. Cueva. Again, there were four in the box. And a song not beaten on his near post, and he gets a high. Well struck. Testing him again, and he was found wanting. Firmino running wide, waiting for Gabriel Jesus to show. And he had to go on his own. Just nice and tidy. Dani Alves to put a flourish. Oh, what a flourish. That was Brazil. It's four, and the captain produces a classic Brazilian right-back goal, in all honesty. Think Carlos Alberto, think Carpu. It's all over now. Casemiro's in there yet again. It's fired over the top from the edge of the box by Artur. It's Everton now. Does he drop the shoulder and hit one? He does. Here, the 
they couldn't then, they did tonight, and now the game is flowing in fairly constant fashion in the direction of the Peru goal. And the... William hits it. Oh, what a way to finish! No mean backup, anytime, anywhere. William. A fantastic fifth. And that will send everybody home happy. Twinkling feet as well. It's a great cross. What a start for Brazil. Everton puts Brazil in front. Gabriel Jesus, the architect, with some simply wonderful football yet again. Quaver goes again, and again Christian Quaver, and it was threaded in, it's a penalty to Peru. They have the chance to get back on level terms. So cool, 1-1. You cannot put them away easily, this Peru team, and they are back in it. They call tour. Gabriel Jesus for Brazil. The magic just keeps coming. Gabriel Jesus restores Brazil's lead. Firmino and Gabriel Jesus again in tandem, working so hard for each other and paying each other back in goals. The first step to greatness with the goal. Again. Everton found some room, took on all comers, got knocked out of the way, and penalty, penalty for Brazil, won by Everton. And Richarlison clinches it surely for Brazil. It's 3-1. And now all that pent-up emotion that has built and built as the pressure built in this second half, it just goes off like fire.